I really love it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Good job. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is my, I don't know, slick pony, something that I did today. Burn, sorry, what do you mean something, Esther? Yeah, and I, I really felt like I should film it. And I did in a few seconds or a few minutes, you guys will see how I did it. And I must say, I'm really happy with it. And this is really cute. So I hope you guys will enjoy the process. And um, please do subscribe, tell someone about this channel, just so that they do. I'm just gonna spritz them just a bit. I wanna. I'm thinking, should I? I wanna go get my blow dry, but my daughter is sleeping, and I don't wanna ruin this free moment I have. And I'm just thinking, should I rather just. I wanna like stretch them. Because I don't have gel, so I'll be using. Oh, I didn't tell you guys what I'll be using. So I'll be using this um, molding gel wax. I had it, I've been having it for the longest time. And then I'm going to top it off with, I've never done the combination with before, if my memory says me right. So, yeah, the fact that it, it's glued, blasting first, awesome. I like the glue part. I don't have the, the gel, so I'm going to use this as my base. And then, but I don't know, like, I don't know whether I should do it or not here. I've never um, started. Yeah, so yeah. It's not saying whether I should have my hair wet or not, but hey, I'm just gonna try. So let me try. A brush, and if I do, I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking of putting you guys in time lapse, but then it will defeat the whole purpose, right? Of the tutorial. If I'm gonna go very fast through it, then what's the use? This is actually a tutorial, I'm just showing you guys how I do it. Because there's a difference between a tutorial and actually just doing a style video. Because there are plenty of these on, on the tube, so... <sighs> yeah, so I think let me just have... I won't put it on time lapse. Because I don't think it's going to take long. It shouldn't take long. can find freedom freedom to talk to God you tell him how you feel inside you get to thank him for how good he has been to you this place is no other than in his prayers 
can't find my other comb. change my lens this coming month so this really nice frame um online and I wanna get it I'm gonna get it as soon as God blesses me with money and it's like 450 your first purchase you get 50 rand off so maybe I'll be purchasing it for 400 50 rand might not sound a lot, but to some of us, we love discounts. Doesn't matter how much. Freedom to talk to God. You tell him how you feel inside. You get to thank him for how. Sorry, I want to say so much of what I'm doing that I'm like forgetting that I'm recording a video. Um, so I was thinking of buying gel on online. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I just couldn't like I couldn't on clicks the online um, clicks I couldn't find the Eco Styler gel and my only option was other gels and the one that was more familiar to me was the soft and free gel but i i seriously didn't want something that would take years of drying because i was not going to open up my dryer to sit under that and um and this frame that i'm buying online I'm just hoping and praying that I'm just hoping and praying that I would fit. I don't know how to measure my my frame. In fact, it would be the first time I buy a frame online. So that's also the other like stress okay stress is a big word but that's the other that's the other concern i have with buying things like clothes online because i'm just like if, it's, if i'm gonna buy it out of cape town that means i have to return it and blah 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 and guys advise if you've never bought online before and you're gonna buy it for the first time, always check out the return policies. Always make always return. Um, always check out the return policies. 
I really love that frame. I'm gonna insert it probably in the video for you guys. I'm gonna have it in Jesus' name. I really want that frame. It's about time actually, so. Actually how I got this frame. I was having like, I, this was not my, I didn't have this frame. I had like a, a cat eye shape frame from, I bought it from, it was a sissy, yeah, it was a sissy boy frame. Very, very gentle. My edges, cause, yeah, moving them back was not a joke. Yeah, so, and then my daughter broke them. <laughs> so, I, like, every time I go to town, I always had to, like, borrow my husband's glasses. His glasses were more stronger than mine, but I could at least see. They were better than, like, not going, they're not having, than going without glasses. Yeah, that's how bad, that's how bad it was. So I was like, uh, I was like, no, I really need to get mine. But for me, one thing about me is, I'm not really fussy, especially, I I would want the thing, but I will not be like, especially because I, I, I've been used to being so independent that I'm not the one to like blame my husband's case of, you know, like especially when I know, I know our, his money is our money, but I'm not one to, to now like, you know, is this line, is this line straight? I think it's straight. It's straight. I'm not one to like put pressure on him. Like, oh, you have to get, you know, I just make do with what is there. And that's what I was doing. So one day we went to town and my husband was like, let's go to the eye shop. And I'm like, oh, then what? Hey, is this line straight? And I just imagine the thing. Sometimes Tova wakes up and she's in the mood. <laughs> Sometimes she's just like, I'm not in the mood. So, I guess today was one of those days. Yeah? I'm not gonna do baby hair. I, I must admit, I'm not really good with doing baby hair. As easy as it may look, I'm not good with it. Braiding is like out of the question at the moment because of the pressure it, it puts like right now I can't even see oh. because of the pressure it puts on my hairline so I rather just resort I rather I rather just resort to to this iron wings yeah so I mean, I can still put on a wig having this hair gel down like this. So my hair is not that much to like, not at least not anymore, to like, you know, not have them like this and be able to put on a wig. So this is just how I'm going to, from now on, this is how I'm going to have my hair instead of having them in those uh, bantu thing knots. It doesn't look attractive it doesn't look nice and i'm not going to look unkept on the account of trying to preserve my hair and looking for it to like grow long if 
you know what I mean? So I'm not about to... Yeah, my husband never used to see me like that, like when we were dating. So I'm not about to, to shock him to just stay like that. So at least this is, is much better. channel and I hope you guys learned a thing or two on my TED talk and um, yeah till next time